Also today in Washington, a push to recognize a medical pioneer. Henrietta Lacks is known around the world for her remarkable contributions to medicine. Now, as Natalie Brand reports, lawmakers are suggesting a more concrete reward. We are so happy that finally the world is getting to know all about Henrietta Lacks. More than 70 years after her death, Henrietta Lacks' mark on medical research lives on, a remarkable impact that her family and a group of lawmakers want to honor with the Congressional Gold Medal. 88-year-old Lawrence Lacks is Henrietta's only living child. She have gave so much of a, most of her life to, to making everybody else happy and well-being and get better health. Lax was a cancer patient at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore in the 1950s when doctors removed tissue samples for research without her consent. Her cells became the first human cell line to reproduce indefinitely, becoming a critical research tool for the development of vaccines and medical treatments to this day. Her grandson Ron wrote a book about her life. Her impact was medical miracles. To be here today and how everybody's listening to the Lax family story is amazing in itself. Lax family and lawmakers are now pushing to honor her legacy and raise awareness about the recognition she was denied in her lifetime. I'm hurt today. Filled with joy but hurt. And to this family, I want to simply publicly apologize. For this should have never happened. Decades later, they say it's time to fully recognize Henrietta Lacks' life-saving contributions to science. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. Now, the Lacks family is suing the biotech company Thermo Fisher, saying that the company has made millions from mass-producing Lacks' cells for decades.